Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello, no, do no good, no, no, right? I hope everybody keeps safe, you know. All right, all right. So today, guys, I'm gonna be doing a, a honey Barbie fried pig tail. Okay. So my pig tail, guys. I'm gonna clean it up. Get off this excess fat. We don't need it. All right. So I'm just gonna clean it up and um, cut it up. Okay, I'm not doing a lot today, guys. I'm the only person in my household that eats pork. Okay. <laughs> oh, seriously. So, hence I don't need a lot, really. So I have my ingredients here. I have um, half a cup of ketchup here. I have some habanero sauce it's very hot guys i'm gonna put some in my sauce because i like a little spice you know um i don't have to use a cayenne because i already have that so i'm gonna just leave this out and since this is more spicy i'll go with this one i have my honey here because you hear the tab right it's honey barbie fried um pigtail i'm doing and this is some um barbecue sauce Ginger, of course, ginger goes well with pork, you know that. And I have some some um, strawberry jam here. I'm gonna also put in my sauce. A took some browning just for color and some black pepper. And I also have two pegs of garlic here. And all of this is going in my sauce. And also some orange juice, it's in the fridge. I, I didn't take it out yet. I'm going to use. And um, I don't need to season my pigtail, guys. This have its own flavor right so only thing I'm going to do is just clean it up cut it up and boil it out to get some of the salt out of it because it's very salty those of you know about pigtail and heating so you have to boil it out to get some of the salt out the excess salt because you can't just heat it like that and I want it to be flavorful so I have to do all of that and um, I'm going I may I might boil this for two times I'm not sure how salt it is we'll see and um, I like it to be very tender guys truthfully especially doing something like this a barbie fry so I might pressure it if I'm gonna boil it for two times or three times yes I'm gonna boil it three times I boil it off two times and the last time I'll just pressure it a little just to get it more tender okay that's what I'm going to do I'm still trying to keep some of the salt in it or retain a little but I, I need most of it out okay I just go ahead and this up be your fat man <laughs> and I know those of you who don't like pork I can burn out this cause I'm not gonna deal with pork I have friends too who don't eat pork okay guys and they burn it out you, you Jamaica know what I'm saying when I say we burn it out <laughs> My friend Bill gonna love this, Belisha. You look a pork belly girl, you. You going to love this. You been asking me to do it too. So I could say you request it in a sense, right? You see how much fat is on it? Don't need all of that. guys you don't need to season it this right honestly you really don't need to put any kind of powder seasoning on it like I say it's not a lot because I'm the only person with pork in this house okay so you see the size right if you want them bigger you can cut them bigger this is big enough. It's about two, two and a half inches. I cut them so that's big enough. Okay, guys. Let's rinse these off. I don't have any 
have lemon juice, so I'm going to use some lemon juice to wash it off. And also, using some vinegar, guys, also. Guys, I finished cleaning up my pig tail. So, it's in the water. Just letting it boil off for a little. Okay. In the meantime, I'm just going to make my sauce. So, I'm going to add my ketchup in. Okay. And I didn't tell you guys about the vinegar. Of course, that is a must. And this is my vinegar. I want to balance all the sweet with it okay so it's a must to have at least for me all right i'm going to put some jam in some ginger powder like i said ginger normally goes very well with pork right This is to your desire, the browning. Okay, I'm just putting a little bit in there, not a lot. Okay. See, not even a teaspoon. See that? Because I'm doing a honey barbecue fried, right? So honey is a must. If that's what I'm doing. That means I'm not adding any sugar. I'm using honey to do it. Okay? So that's three teaspoons here. Spray the spoon and then honey would have slide off, like, but no problem, no problem, okay. I want a little heat in this guy, so I'm gonna add a little habanero sauce there. It's very spicy, guys, very spicy. So, if you don't like spice, don't use it. I use less than a teaspoon. I don't want it to be, I don't want the spice to overpour my onion all of that because it's an onion glaze, onion glaze barbecue fried, right? But I just need a little eat at the back of my throat. <laughs> That's one. That's two. And that's three teaspoons of barbecue sauce. my judgment I have all, all of this but you know that's why you always want measurements so and my pigtail is a pound of pigtail okay I'm gonna crush my garlic here
remember now I'm not doing a whole lot of pigtails so this ingredient should should do my sauce alright if you want to do more if you're doing more pigtails just add just add more to it okay increase it so I'm going to put my sauce on the stove and let it boil my pigtail is now boiling see that strain this off this strain this water off in about three minutes all right and repeat the process guys this is my third time boiling this off and you see it's not a lot I know many times it's salt okay so it's right where I want it now so I'm going to strain this off and just pressure it for about 10 minutes so guys my sauce is cooking Going to add four cloves in it. It's pork, guys, and you know this tastes very nice with pork, right? Cloves taste nice with pork, ham, and all of those things. Okay, give it mad flavor. So I put, I put four cloves in my sauce. All right, they should smell in here already. Mm. my pigtail is finished pressuring see that and I did it for 10 minutes okay see they're still firm and nice but soft you know soft enough to eat I don't know if you guys have a pressure pigtail man until the bone hmm. that bone gets so soft you feel like you could chew it up and swallow <laughs> especially doing something like this Barbie fry thing yeah you want him to you know be soft see? soft I'm going to let they cool off a little before I put them in the floor okay I'm in no hurry today so let's stay right there and all that I'm gonna be doing here now guys is just um, my flour with cornstarch I do like cornstarch when I'm frying anything sometimes I use it by itself sometimes I do it for no guys like I said you don't need any seasoning for this the only thing for me I put in it it's just a little black pepper okay that's it that's all the seasoning I put in my flour for, for this particular recipe combining trying to combine it here guys the, the black pepper in my flour so it's evenly distributed in the flour so like I said I'm gonna let this cool before I do anything else all right I'll come back then Taylor or cool and all, so I'm just going to slow it down now. So my oil is eating up guys. Just does the excess fall off guys. Like this. This thing's popping half. <laughs> I'm 
just using my toaster oven today, guys. I'm turning on the stove because of the seasonal a lot that I'm doing. Okay. So I'm just gonna let these fry, guys, and I'll be back. Done, guys. Is that looking pretty or what? Thank you guys for watching. Just garnish it, guys, with a little parsley, dry parsley, that is. Okay. remember to like share comment and subscribe to my channel I do appreciate all of you 
have a good day please turn your notification bell on so you'll be notified each time i upload another amazing dish thank you guys bye